Hello friends, very good morning. In this video, we are going to draw the isometric view of a rectangular block having dimension 60 by 50 with height is equal to 60 millimeter. This is 20 plus 20 plus 20. When this block has got totally one top surface right side surface, bottom surface and this and on all these lateral surface, top, bottom, left and right end, there are different types of the cutouts made. If you start from the top face, there is a V groove or V slot cut exactly at the center of the top face which has got a width of 60, 20 plus 20. So this V groove has a depth of 10 mm and width is equal to 20. So friend, as per the simple common rule that for drawing the isometric view or isometric projection, first of all you have to see what are the major dimensions like the length, the width and the height. Here the length is 60, width is 50 and the height is equal to 60, 20 plus 20 plus 20. 60. So we are going to construct a box having width 60, height 60, sorry, the height 60, length 60 and width is 50. And friends, after drawing this, let us start from the front view. So let us start from the top of this. There is a V crew cut. It has got a width of 20. So this is 20, this gap is 20 and this is 20. So totally the top length of 50 is divided into three parts or written lines here 20 this is 20 and this is 20 and friends exactly at a distance of 10 mm from that end this line is at a distance of 10 mm and I have just marked a point here and friends here we are going to have what is called a V groove made so there will be V groove connecting this and this. So we have to just join these two and similarly friends this is their throat and that is shown by this dotted line and hence friends at the top I am going to draw a line parallel to that. A line parallel from there parallel to this end and friends now we can just complete this V groove cut along the top surface and friends let us remove this line so that this will look better and even this line at the end will be removed. So friends this is how the groove on the top surface is cut and friends now we we'll draw these two lines at the ends so this is up to here One line from here, another line from here. So this phase is over and let us complete the top phase completely. One line parallel there, another line parallel from here and this will complete friends. This line and this line. And this is how we have completed the top face having V groove or V cutout in that. This is how it looks, friends. Now this part is over, friends. Next, let us move on to the bottom surface, which has got a slot, rectangular slot of width 20 mm and thickness 10 mm. So I will mark center of that. And I will take 10 millimeter on both the sides. Turn this side and 10 millimeter here. And just draw lines parallel to these vertical edges. One line from here, one line from here, another line from here. Friends, this will indicate the rectangular slot. Before that, we will have to draw another line parallel to this base edge. 
this is how we complete the bottom face so let us complete this 20 mm this 20 mm part so i am going to have this done like this so we have completed the bottom portion which is having a rectangle slot of width is equal to 20 mm and the height is equal to 10 mm this height is 10 and this width is equal to 20 so friends let us move on to the left side face this face having dimension 50 by 60 and friends you can see there is a dovetail cut out that is in the form of this a direct dovetail cut out cut out is also called a, a what you call a trapezoidal cut out so friends let us mark them here so on the print face i have to mark so there is this longer uh, length is 30 mm so i will mark 30 mm here on this line 30 mm then parallel to that is only 20 mm so friends i will just take a length like this 20 mm symmetrical about this and complete that part also so i will write a vertical line a line here inclined line inclined line this is how the print this slot will look in the iso let me draw this line connecting this complete surface so i am going to have a line written like this another line to this edge that is for the 30 millimeter length i have written and similarly friend i should write a line parallel to this and of length equal to this much so i have drawn like that similarly here i should draw another line having the same parallel to this and friends here if you complete and uh, you will be able to get what is called the trapezoidal cutout trapezoidal cutout having a dimension 30 by 10 and friends I have joined this so this is a surface and this we should have a vertical line from there friends if you visualize you can understand that there is a trapezoidal slot cut along this so let me complete this remaining part here so exactly in the center we have this trapezoidal cut out of the dimension 30 outside and 20 mm inside this is 20 30 by 20 and this height is equal to 10 this is 10 millimeter so this is this cut out so in the end view, you will be able to see one rectangle for this inclined surface, one for the vertical surface, one for the inclined surface. One, two, three will be there. And for this, you get one rectangular face, one rectangular face. That is the top and the bottom face here. Let me complete this also. Friends, I will remove all these lines so that you will have a better look of this surface. So, friends. Let me complete them with better lines. So we have completed this, friends. We have completed the trapezoidal slot, and also here this surface can be joined by straight line. So this is how we get friends. So there are totally one. 2, 3, 4 and 5 surfaces or can be seen that is this is one rectangle, second, third, fourth and five, fifth rectangle and friends in the end view you have got a dotted line here that indicates this slot which is cut throughout the length as I have shown here. Friends you have completed the way group that in isometric and uh, you also have completed the v groove the trapezoidal groove the rectangular slot so this three we have completed now friends we are left with uh, the last one that is a semicircular cutout at this side exactly in the center friends so in the center i have marked this line it has got a radius of 10 that means 
this distance from there will be just 10 millimeter I mark that line so and this has got a diameter of 20 mm so I will take 10 mm this side 10 mm on the opposite side so on this we should have what is called a trapezoid that is a semicircular group in this box in this box we should get the semicircular group so friends for constructing the semicircular group you will have to follow what is called as the four center method and here friends I will extend this outside by a distance equal to the same 10 mm here also I will have it as 10 millimeter and complete that box so here friends in this box a trapezoidal box we should be able to complete or uh, obtain the isometric projections how to obtain friends you take this at the center you join this point to the opposite side center so somewhere here it will meet friends so somewhere here it will meet and similarly on the other end also you will have this this is center 1 this is center 2 the center this has center this distance has radius I am going to draw an arc similarly with this as center this distance as radius another arc I am going to draw so friends this we have got the semicircular group which appears as a semi ellipse so I am going to remove all these after construction of the figure so I have removed all that so that the figure will look nice so this construction lines you can retain so this is the part we have got friends now friends what happens here this is totally 20 radius 10 so this is totally 20 so here what has happened this gap is also 20 you can see here these have the same so this end coincides with this corner coincides with and hence we have got written these two lines so there will be a line passing through these that is exactly like this so that I have just vomited there friends if you observe the final figure we have this isometric drawing made for the orthographic use given in the question this is a straight and this will be parallel to this friends friends we have drawn all the lines and we have to check whether the isometric view whatever I have got here I call it as isometric view or isometric drawing is isometric drawing which is made using the actual dimensions given in the orthographic views let us check one by one friends let us start from the V group V group is exactly in the center of this side center of this side this is 20 this is 20 this is 20 are taken from the center 10 on either side and depth is also equal to 10 depth. and I got this since there is slot throughout you can see in the print view I have got this similarly friends on the left side face there is a dovetail cutout a dovetail cutout is also called as a trapezoidal cutout because this is in the form of a trapezium so when you look from this direction friends you will be able to see one rectangle for this second for the inclined surface, third for the vertical surface, fourth here, fifth here. So, in the end view, you will have one, two, three, four and five rectangles. Rectangle number one up to here, rectangle two, this is rectangle three, rectangle four and this is rectangle five. And that is cut throughout the length and we have shown it tapered towards the left frames. So, this is the procedure or the construction for the slot, trapezoidal slot. Friends, moving down to the bottom portion. In the bottom portion of this block, you have a rectangle cutout having width is equal to 20 
and thickness is equal to 10. This is 20 and this is 10. So I have taken 10 on either side and you turn these two lines parallel to the vertical edge. And I've drawn a line again, an extra line here to show that there is the presence of a slot throughout the length. And friends here, in the end view you can see this corner in dotted line. So at a distance of 10 mm, I have marked this dotted line indicating the presence of a slot there. Finally, friends, on the last face to your right side, there is a semicircular groove cut throughout the end. And in the end view, if you observe this coincide, this is 20, this is also 20, and hence the in the end view, these two points are seen as a line here because this dimension and this dimension are the same. Friends, you have got all the dimensions of the orthographic view transferred to the isometric view and friends, this is how we get and friends, to make this drawing little more beautiful, let me remove all these unwanted lines. You can show them very thin in construction or you can remove them also so that it will give you a better picture of the isometric view compared to the figure with all these markings. So friends, this is how finally we have completed the isometric view of a rectangular block with 60 by 50 dimension and height is equal to 50 millimeter. Friends, I hope that you were able to follow the procedure adopted to obtain the isometric view or isometric drawing of a simple block having four different types of cutouts on its four faces. So friends, please go through the complete video and if you like this video, do not forget to share the information about my video and also about my YouTube channel link with all your friends. Have a blessed day. Thank you very much.